how to connect ChatGPT to Google Assistant. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can connect your ChatGPT right like that to your Google Assistant. There is no direct way to connect those two, but you can create some triggers and action. And to create those triggers and action, you or actions, you are going to need a Zapier. For those who doesn't know what is a Zapier, it is a platform that will automate some uh, actions and uh, some uh, right here we have uh, some triggers that will allow you to do automate things. The simple the the simple thing that we need to do is to create an automation. Here I am going to click on create or you can go ahead and ask uh, for example a Zapier to connect or integrate those two. Right, let me ask first then we are going to do it manually. Here what would you like to automate? Integrate like this integrate uh, Google or chat chat GPT like that, I'm going to make these together to my Google Assistant. Like this. And here. Then you are going to click on this arrow and we are waiting for the magic to happen. Here we are, they are using the steps. Uh, now we have this integration, integrate ChatGPT with Google Assistant. This is the best method that Zapier can find since it is no direct way. We can integrate ChatGPT with Google Assistant uh, with the two steps, new conversation on custom GPT or and also the second step is create message on a Google Chat. This is very easy and simple to do. I'm going to click on try it and see what are the actions and what are the triggers on this one. Here, the trigger is to create a new conversation within custom GPT. For example, this is the app and event. As you can see here, uh, you can see here custom GPT. And we have also here the new conversation. You are, when you create a new conversation within the uh, custom GPT, you are going to uh, create a message in Google Chats. This is uh, very simple. For this to work, you have only to uh, go to first here on the first trigger app, click on sign in to connect your uh, here, what is that? Custom GPT. It is the same as a chat GPT. Here, the API key is required to get the uh, access to your uh, custom GPT. And also for the Google chat, it will uh, demand you to sign into your account. But in my case, I will not use custom GPT because it is a paid service. We need only the free service. I'm going back to home like that. And then I'm going to Zapier, create a new Zap, click on create, click on Zaps. Here we have something you would like to create. You can go ahead and ask it again to create the Zaps, but I'm going to add a trigger. The first trigger is to click on here. I'm going to search for Google Chat, for example, Google Google chat and I will see that no trigger is available. I am going to put, for example, a creation of Google Docs here. This is the first trigger. trigger. I'm going to click on create on a new document. This is the first thing. Now I'm going to put the action, which is here, chat GPT. I'm going to put chat GPT. Uh, this is the action, the shoes event. You can create your own actions, for example. Uh, I'm, you can go ahead and create the action or add or a custom library action library, for example, or create like that. Analyze image content with vision, analyze text sentiment, check out moderation. I am going here to click on a conversation. Here it will start a conversation with our chat GPT. And for the return, I am going to simply uh, connect those two. When you create a document or a new document in Google Docs, it will create a conversation with your uh, ChatGPT.
then the return you are going to see it right here or you can go ahead and put another action for example when this is finished you are going to click another options for example on google chats it will take you to google chats or google docs for example i'm going to google chats google google chats let's see what do we have here where's google chats google 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 chats this is google chats now I'm going to choose an event here. You are going to create a message for this. It will be creating a message on this one. That was very easy. And here we are going to connect the Google account that we have. I'm going to test my account. A little disclaimer, guys. Everything created in this video, such as API codes, uh, email created, and uh, a lot of uh, codes and conversation are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. Now, let's go ahead to ChatGPT and sign in on ChatGPT. Here, I'm going to let this happen. Right here, the API key. I'm going directly to ChatGPT. Uh, on ChatGPT, we will not find our uh, API key. I'm going to enter or uh, uh, type open AI like that and .com and we will see right here. It will take us to OpenAI. Then you have to log in to your account. It will be shown right here. I'm going to uh, log in to my account. Now you are going to click on products. Here you have API. You have pricing, API login. You are going to log into your uh, API account or uh, OpenAI platform. Here I'm going to continue with my Google account like that the same on the chat gpt this is very simple then we have these two choices chat gpt or open ai or api i'm going to click on api here i'm going to simply on click on settings from settings you will see here your profile you click simply on your profile as you can see here we have your details security and user api keys now we have this uh, API key. I'm going to create another one for the sake of the video. Create new secret key here. I'm going to put it the name of it test, for example, two. create a secret key. Then we will have this key, copy it. And then I'm going to open this uh, Zapier. I'm going to put the key right here. Yes, continue with ChatGPT and we should be set up here. The account is ready. Also, this one is ready. And also for this one, Google Chat, I'm going to click on sign in. And also with the same account of Google that I have set for the document or the Google Doc. Here we have the trigger. I'm going to test the trigger and see what it will give us. No uh, new document found. You can go ahead and uh, create the uh, document, then the uh, conversation here from uh, ChatGPT, this is a user message, for example. Uh, you can go ahead and put a, a data here when uh, a doc, a Google doc, for example, a Google doc uh, document, like that document is created, copy and paste the text text like that uh, and here we go this is it now you can go ahead and complete this step uh, to skip this text uh, this trigger here is custom search custom data here we have some files click on continue this is the conversation click on continue also like that the action you can put a memory key here an image, uh, enter or insert, or insert data like that. Username, this is up to you to customize. Uh, you have to finish this. And finally here, the uh, Hangout chat room, for example, you can put a custom or uh, Hangout chat room, message title, message image, subtitle, subtitle for the image, image text, and etc. And then you can go ahead and finish the process uh, with yourself. Then when you finish everything, you are going to click on a publish to uh, publish uh, this zap and you will automate the uh, Google Assistant by recommending or command, making a command, for example, to create a Google document. 
then you are going to uh, say the um, the words or the text to the documents to be written then the conversation will start with a chat gpt and the results will be sent to create uh, or uh, sent with google chat and this is it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon on the next one